In 2015, the Everglades lost 50,000 acres of seagrass. An acre of seagrass sequesters the same amount of carbon as an acre of rainforest. That's like losing 50,000 acres of rainforest. My name is Captain Chris Whitman, born and raised fourth generation Floridian. As a kid, every waking minute revolved around the water. In 2016, we had this water crisis that just crushed us. It was like a wake up call. With Captains for Clean Water and our partners like Columbia, we're bringing attention to the value of places like Everglades National Park. All of this used to be sawgrass, and now it's dry. You can see the difference of how dry this is over here right now being farmed, and then how wet everything is here. That's how wet all of this should be. It's important that we educate people so that they can see that these things are relevant and important, even if they've never been to the Everglades. My name is Wesley Locke and I am a saltwater fly fishing angler. Red tide's something I've been experiencing my whole life. It's an algae bloom that causes mass fish kills and strong respiratory problems. In 2018, uh, the release of the Caloosahatchee released basically legal pollution out of the lake. The strongest bloom of red tide hit Boca Grande. The fishing season was just cut off at the knees. There it is. Nice. The Comprehensive Everglades Restoration Plan is one of the largest ever undertaken in the world. It's 68 projects that will help return the water as close to what nature would have been able to do. There's a lot left to save. The key is public knowledge and public involvement and keeping our policymakers focused on funding this massive suite of restoration projects. If we're quiet, then the funding will go to something else. We're way behind schedule and with every passing year, our ecosystems suffer.